upset tonight, having already knocked out Norwich, the first division leaders, and Watford, top team in Division 2. They like to play open, attacking football, and the former Luton striker Mike Newell and Northern Ireland international Jimmy Quinn are a dangerous partnership up front. Nottingham Forest provide the perfect test of Leicester's credentials. They've lost only once in their last 16 games, and that was against Arsenal. Forrest forced into a late change tonight because of injury to their regular centre-half, Colin Foster. He's replaced by 19 years old Darren Wassell, who's played only a handful of first-team games. The referee, Daniel Vickers from Ilford. The biggest crowd Filbert Street has had for five years, almost a sellout, 30,000, and an all-ticket crowd. A terrific atmosphere. Perfect pitch, a mild evening, and a real derby atmosphere. These two clubs less than 30 miles apart. And it's Leicester in the white shorts, 10th in Division 2, who kick off, attacking from left to right. Nottingham Forest, who lie 8th in the 1st Division, tonight all in red. The target was Quinn, but met by Pierce for Nottingham Forest. Rice down the line. Safely back by Steve Walsh. Back after injury and forming a very effective partnership with Simon Morgan at the heart of the Leicester defence. Morgan there, number six. Reed. Oh, a very late challenge by Pierce on Reed. The linesman had a perfect view of that. So too did the referee. I think the Forest skipper and England's first choice left back will be cautioned for that tackle. And frankly, he can't complain. <laughs> referee Vickers, very quick to act. And I think our slow motion replay will show that the referee was totally justified. Hard tackling, very much apart. Stuart Pierce's game, but on that occasion it was unfair as well. Well, Reed on his feet again. And I think he'll take a few minutes to run that one off. And in fact, I think the physio John McVeigh said something to the referee as he was uh, leaving the field, having treated Reed. The referee is going to take his name as well. That's pretty unusual. But clearly, John McVeigh was very unhappy about Pierce's challenge and said so to the referee. <laughs> Quinn's header. I'm not sure he knew where it was. McAllister did. And Quinn! Well, that was very sharp attacking play by Jimmy Quinn. When the ball first dropped to him, I'm not sure he really knew as he headed it down. McAllister was quickly onto the rebound. His shot striking the Forest defender and Quinn striking the rebound just wide. Chapman's header. This is Spearing. And Russell. Spearing again. Russell wants it back and gets it. Good play by Leicester City. This is Mocklin. Superb effort, punched away, and Sutton gets it. Just. Well, Steve Sutton, a very relieved man, and the ball dropped where it did. Because the initial shot from Mocklin was so powerful, he couldn't hold it. The ball really pinged goalwards, and Sutton just couldn't hold on to it. And it dropped just where he wanted, in the end. Falls for Leicester again with Newell, tackling well. Oh, he just played it too far ahead of McAllister. The Forest, as we know, always dangerous on the break. Here's Club. Webb, Chapman up with him. Fine save. Well, Webb knew that he had to go it alone then, and he tried to pick a spot between the post and the goalkeeper's outstretched arm. But the experience of Paul Cooper kept Leicester with a clean sheet. Good save.
Starbuck. Chapman. And still Chapman, he did well there. It bounced kindly for him, but he made the most of it. And forced Leicester to really backpedal. Injury there to Simon Morgan, who made the late challenge on Chapman. Kind bounce for him there off Steve Walsh, but Chapman was strong enough to still get in a shot. And Morgan injured in that tackle. Harris again, giving it away to Webb. Who in turn gives it to Spearing. Russell. Spearing continues his run and Quinn is up there as well. He has the ball. Now Mockley. McAllister. Newell. Oh, it was so close. season's top scorer at Leicester and again this with eight goals just lost his footing there and that could have been important but still got in a good shot Paris gives it away to Rice Pierce Clough Lovely return ball for Pierce. And good goalkeeping once more by Cooper, who's been the man of the half without question. A fearsome sight, Stuart Pierce in full flight. And Cooper knew he had to act immediately. And he was right out at the fullback's feet to make a brave save. 